What is up, YouTube? All right, today we're gonna to talk about something a little different. We're gonna talk about guitar cases. So why are we gonna talk about guitar cases? Because not all guitar cases are created equal. Now, you might be thinking, well, I bought my guitar and my guitar came with a case. So why would I go out and spend money on a different guitar case. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over some of those reasons why, why you might not use the case your guitar comes with, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna change views here and we're gonna open the case up and we're gonna talk about it all and take a look at it. All right, so first, what is this? This case is the Groove Gear Capsule Duo. So this case actually holds two guitars. Now, y'all know, I, I primarily play Les Pauls. And I will go ahead and tell you that two Les Pauls do fit in this. Um, but it is a snug fit. Now, again, you wouldn't want the guitars to be loose in there by any means. So it is nice that they do fit tight. But, I mean, they just fit. If you had any guitars bigger, like if you had 335 or something like that, it would not fit in here. Uh, much less two of them wouldn't fit in here at all. So <clears throat> it definitely likes flatter guitars. I've noticed like with my Strat, um, the Strat fits in there really well. Like two Strats would fit in there very well. Or like some Ibanez's or something, you know. They would fit in there maybe a little less snug. Uh, You'd have a little more room. The, the top closes with the Les Pauls in it, but it, like, just closes. So, let's go ahead and open it up. So, the cool thing here I like is, so, you got a, you got a combination lock down here that you can set. And this lock, let's see if I can get the focus. There we go. This lock has a TSA uh lock on it so if you fly with this the cool thing is you can you can pull the zippers over here and lock them in like that and then tsa if you're flying tsa can they got their little thing here they can use a little special key they have they can open it up check your stuff out reclose it relock it and you never know the difference so that's a pretty cool feature uh because if you're flying and you check something like this uh tsa might want to look in it and if they can't get into it they will get into it if you know what i mean like they will break your zippers off or cut your lock off so if they really want to get in your stuff they're going to get in your stuff so this just makes it a lot easier for them they see this little code right here it tells them which key to use they got like a little you know ring with a bunch of keys on it and they can get right in here and check out anything they need which is pretty neat um it also has this like ID thing that you can get. Um, I didn't get it, and I'll explain later why I didn't get it uh, because I already have something very similar to this thing that they offer. Um, but that's pretty cool too. So you can track the phone no matter where. I mean, uh, the phone. Listen to me. Uh, you can. <laughs> I'm filming on my phone. That's why I'm thinking about phone. You can track the case uh, anywhere it goes. You can buy the little. You scan that code and it like takes you to their website. You can buy this little tracking device thing that goes in here that you can track. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see what else. It comes with it comes with these wheels that I really like the wheels. Um, the wheels do pop off, so you can take them off if you need to, which I think is really cool. But uh, the thing that I like about these wheels is they aren't. They aren't like wheels that come on like a, a cabinet or an amp or something. Uh, they're made out of the same material that like skateboard wheels are made out of. So they're a lot smoother when you're rolling it. Um, and they seem like they're going to last a long time. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll do the main compartment first. That's got the guitars in it. Um, I already have it not locked because I didn't want y'all to see my code. So here we go. This is what the inside of it looks like. So there's one Les Paul on the top. 
So let's go ahead and move this. Let's go ahead and put him back over here. All right. So this is pretty cool. So you have these inserts here that just, you know, kind of help out with however long your guitar might be if you need to make up some extra space. There you go. You got that. This is cool. This is the bag that the wheels came in, but I have kind of repurposed it and I have turned it into like a little guitar kit. So I got some picks in here, some wire snippers, some, uh, you know, fingerboard oil, peg winders in there somewhere. So a couple, you know, a little screwdriver, some tools, stuff like that. So I turned it into kind of like my little guitar kit. So if I need to restream my guitars on the road or something like that, I got everything I need in there. I thought this was really neat. So I don't know if you guys might know what these are or not, but if you're a cigar smoker, you will know what these are. These are Bovita two-way humidification packs. And so what these things do, I keep them in my cigar humidor because they will, if, if the room is too humid, then they will soak up the humidity. If it's not humid enough, they output humidity. So really cool thing here. You just open, you take them out of the plastic and they will keep this case properly humidified for you. So if your guitars are spending a lot of time in a trailer or you know, something like that, then uh, this will keep them properly humidified. Uh, it comes with a little bag here that you can put those things in if you want to, which I think is kind of cool. So there's that. Um, yeah. And then this whole insert here just comes out. And look at that. Another guitar. Same deal, got another one of these guys in here. I do like that there's actually enough room in here for the headstocks. As you can see on the outside, like this part is deeper than the rest of it. So that does accommodate the Gibson, you know, angled headstock thing, which I really like. Put old butt back up there. All right, so the bottom part, Pretty much the same. You got your neck block, which I really like. That keeps the guitar from moving too bad side to side. You got this little pouch here for uh, another one of the Bovita packs. Yeah, that's the inside of the case. Um, I do like that it's made out of this like hard material. It's very protective. And the top part here has like a hard underside. So I mean, it's going to protect the guitars very well. Um, I've already been using this back and forth to band practices, and um, I like it. It's not too heavy with both guitars in it. Now, let's check out the top section. This is what really kind of sold me on this case. This is the cool part. Bam. You have a bunch of compartments in here to keep all kinds of stuff. Say you're on tour and you just want a place to store some extra clothes or something, right? Like, here you go. Good size storage compartment. Huh? Another one, right? So this is why I didn't buy the thing they had. It's because I already have an Apple AirTag in here. And I can track this with my iPhone. So I didn't need their thing. Um, But if you don't have that... Uh, their thing pretty much works exactly the same way an Apple AirTag does, so you can just buy the one from them. Um, in here, we got some more stuff, some guitar strings, my earplugs, picks, a little neck holder. It's a great place to keep all kinds of stuff. Guitar straps in here. Oh, maybe if I was pointing at what I was talking about. Guitar straps in there. So... That's kind of an overview of the case. All right, so why would you go for something like this over a regular guitar case? <sighs> so, like, take my Les Pauls, for example, because those are the two guitars that I gig with and travel with the most, right? <sighs> like, the Black Les Paul, for example. The case that it came in is a wooden case. The case is super heavy by itself. Um, 
there's not a lot of space in it to store other things. Uh, being a Les Paul, it's like a weird shaped case. It's not just like a flat case, right? It doesn't fit in the trailer great. Um, being wood and being old, it's busted up. The bottom of it's like coming apart. I don't even have the case here to show you. Uh, I just have it in a storage unit somewhere. I took all my guitar cases and put them in a storage unit. So I had about seven guitar cases in the closet in my studio. Uh, now I have two. So this has replaced like all my guitar cases. Um, but yeah, big heavy wooden guitar case. It's starting to separate. It's got a crack in the bottom of it. It's been abused for years. You know, it's just not the most like portable guitar case in the world, right? Um, and then take like the white Les Paul, for example, right? It's a 87. It came with a really old case. It has the original case with it, but it came with a really old case. Um, those old Les Paul cases are kind of expensive in themselves. You know, like I think they're worth about three or so hundred dollars on the aftermarket. Um, you, you know, you start to get worried about the case. You're like, well, this is the original case of this guitar. Like, I really don't want it to get damaged. You know, at that point, it's like the whole point of the case is to protect the guitar. Now I'm getting worried about the case getting damaged, right? Um, not that the Groove Gear is any cheap, cheap or anything. The, the Groove Gear case is expensive. I think this is about $500. Uh, brand new, but it doesn't have that like vintage, you know, kind of thing to it. It doesn't add any value to my guitar or anything like that, right? Like, I, I don't want to mess up this old vintage case that goes with my old vintage guitar. So, there's that, right? The other thing is, it holds two guitars and it's not a whole lot bigger than like a regular guitar case would be. It doesn't take up a whole lot, like, doesn't take up much more room in the trailer. So, that's kind of the pros of it, is like it's lightweight, it's made out of really modern material that's really protective, um, it holds two guitars, so I don't have to carry two separate cases with me when I'm walking into the venue, right? Like, I can just wheel, wheel, wheel that behind me when I'm pulling it. Um, one thing I didn't mention is it does have backpack straps on the back side of it, tucked in like a pocket, and you can pull them out and click them to the bottom of it and wear it. I tried that. It works. Uh, if you don't take the wheels off, the wheels kind of like hit you in the back the whole time, which is really uncomfortable. Um, and because that plastic backside of the case is so hard, it's not the most comfortable thing on your back. If you just like had to do it, like if you're going upstairs or something and you just had to carry your amp at the same time, you could put that on, but it's... No, nah, wheeling it behind you is the way to go. Um, it's just super convenient. Um, it's really protective. Um, you know, there's a lot of pros to it. What are some of the cons to it? Like I said, with two Les Pauls, fits a little tight. Um, you know, so if you had any bigger guitars than that, they wouldn't fit in here. Um, it is expensive. Again, is this something the average person is probably going to buy? Probably not. Right? If you just play once a month at your local bar or something like that, you don't really need something like this. Your guitar comes with a case. Just carry your guitar to the show, right? But if you gig a lot or you tour or if you if you fly, if you travel to tour or to play shows, rather, this makes a lot of sense. Um... If you had like a small kind of fly rig, a pedal board, it could even possibly fit in there or it could fit in the top part somewhere. And now you have all of it in just one thing, you know, it's really convenient for musicians that travel a lot or, you know, you're going to have your gear in and out of trailers a lot. That was my big thing was we, when my band goes and play shows, we have a trailer and we put all of our gear in the trailer and... I didn't want my old guitar cases getting even more beat up than they already are. And I didn't want my guitars to get damaged. And I like that this thing has a lock on it. So you can set it and lock it. Only I know what the code is. So no one can get in it and steal your guitars. Um, I said, I've got the AirTag in there. 
or you can buy the Groove Gear thing they make that's basically the same thing. And now, if your guitar case does grow legs and wander off somewhere, you can just track it with your phone, and there you go. So, there's the Groove Gear Capsule Duo. Um, is it something that everyone's going to need? No, but it's something cool that I got, and I thought you guys would dig it. And, you know, maybe it's something you never even considered because I, I said something the other day uh, to somebody about it and they were like, I didn't even know you could get something like that. And I was like, yeah. So it's just kind of a neat thing. Um, this whole new like dual guitar case thing, uh, you know, multi guitar case thing. It used to just be like back in the day, if you were getting a multi guitar case, it was like one of the big flight cases, you know, made out of metal and they were real bulky and kind of impractical for like your average just gigging musician. But uh, I think this is a really good solution for people that aren't like, maybe you're not in a big touring band, but maybe you're kind of in like a mid-level band and you just want something a little more convenient and economical than a standard guitar case if it's one guitar that's relatively affordable. Because some of those big vault cases cost like thousands of dollars, you know, this is relatively affordable. So, I just thought it was a cool piece of gear that you guys might like. So, if you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, I'll be back with something else next week. Peace.